really know what we don't know. So in today's video, I am going to bring you 15 ClickUp must knows in under 10 minutes to make sure you know everything you should know. Hi everybody, I'm Yvonne Hyman with AskEV.com and I'm a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. Now this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm only going to show you a couple of things on the screen on how to do it. This is going to be a fire, get stuff done. Let's make sure you know all the things you should know when getting started with ClickUp and you might know you should know them. So let's get it started. We don't have time. Let's go. ClickUp hierarchy must know number one. This whole thing is called a workspace. Don't confuse it with the spaces that you have in here. Your spaces is the big collection, usually clients, customer success, that kind of thing. Underneath that, you have your folders. In this case, client space with the client folder. Every client gets their folder. And then the services they rendered with you, the list underneath, you have the tasks on the side, you have subtasks within that. And there is a basic right down there that explains exactly all the structure and how you should be handling this. Whew, this is going to be a crazy video. ClickUp must know number two and the most missed feature right in ClickUp, Memote. Click this thing and see all the tasks just for you. This thing works anywhere. It doesn't matter if in everything, spaces, lists, folder, it goes throughout your whole space. Memote, must know number two. Must know number three. And I swear to you guys, go change your sidebar, please, because ClickUp thinks we all love the sidebar they give us. No, there is different sidebars right here. You got the simple, you got the clean, you got the modern. Sorry, ClickUp, I have no idea why you are calling the simple simple. It's not simple, just me. Go change your sidebar so ClickUp knows that the simple isn't simple and they are not throwing all of the other ones out, please. Thank you. And here comes ClickUp must know number four, restore deleted items. Did you know ClickUp has a trash bin? Yeah, right down there. Click up trash bin, a lot of things in there after you delete them. Not everything, you can restore them in there. Perfect. Additional video about that right in the description below. Click up must know number six, status versus stages. If you have not seen that video on my channel, what have you been doing? Watch the video, status versus stages. Statuses and click up, yes, you can do whatever you want to. Should you? No, because you're gonna screw up your workflow. You're gonna screw up knowing what the hell your team is up to. Statuses are only active to do in progress, waiting internal, waiting external, potential proof status complete. That's it. Everything else is status, video below. And we are charging ahead. ClickUp must know number seven. I'm seven. I'm not even going to try. Cleaning up your notifications, especially when you are starting. It is a pain in the ass because all of the notifications are turned on. What are we doing? We are going in your notifications and you're going to go through and clean those up and only have the notifications on that you need. In my case, I only have pretty much one email on and that is the daily summary. That's it. Another video in the description. Go watch the whole thing if you don't know yet. ClickUp must know number eight. Did you know that you can copy and paste tasks? Yeah, really simple. And they even added multiple times. So let's grab some of those points from my notes. So I just copied a couple talking points that I have for this video and we're going to paste them in here. And what happens is because they were literally right after each other, bullet point list, however you listed them up, it realizes that there were line breaks in there and turns it into seven different tasks. Did you know that's possible? Now you do. Click it must know number nine. Did you know that you can use emojis literally anywhere and everywhere? I use a Chrome extension called Joy Pixel to just easily copy them. And you really can just copy and paste emojis anywhere. Add them to your list, add them to your spaces, add them to your tasks, whatever you need to make things easier. I like to use them in the content creation simply because I'm visual. I'm not gonna read published. I just see the TV and know it's published. ClickUp must know number 10. Did you know that you can use ClickUp just like Trello with the whole Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Kanban board view? Yes, you can. The video on how to do that exactly is right, right below in the description. I'm not going to dive into that. Do not use statuses for that. I'm just going to say that much. Go watch the status versus stages. Go watch the how to use ClickUp like Trello video so that you actually can scale your business and don't screw everything up. Okay, deal? Done. Cool. ClickUp must know number 11. Oh, look, I can use my fingers again. Do not, I repeat, do not just import Trello and Asana templates. Please, they are structured differently. They have different things. It is a freaking mess. And all of the template creators out there, please don't tell people to just import your Asana template. It's a mess. Put in the manual work, get a cheap VA, whatever you need to do, but do not just import those templates. Clean them up and make them work in ClickUp. 
you are using ClickUp, use the structure, use best practices. Cool. Awesome. ClickUp must know number 12. Don't sort your structure and ClickUp hierarchy by department. Please don't. Do not do a space right here as your web design department and then the next space as your graphic design department. You are going to fight trying to figure out what's happening with the client, how, where, what, why, when. It is so much easier to have a client space or a space per client, which wherever you want to go, then have the folder underneath for each client, have the list underneath for each services they're offering, and then pull out those lists for a custom view that shows the department what they need to take care of. Again, more about that right in the description. You'll find the video. Here's another one. Click up must know number 13. What's our time? We're, we're getting there. Calendar sync. Please, 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 please. When you are turning on your calendar sync with Google Calendar, do not, I repeat, do not import ClickUp tasks straight up in your everyday appointment calendar. Once you turn off that syncing, the appointments, your tasks, everything that got imported from ClickUp is still there. It will not be deleted. It will not be pulled out, which means if something goes wonky or you want to move it or whatever, you still will have these tasks in your everyday calendar. Set up a Google Calendar that's only for those tasks. More about that again in the video in the description. ClickUp must know number four, 14. ClickUp must know number 14 actually came from my Discord community. Gustavo, shout out to you. One of the things he would have loved to know before he started was that inbox you, which shows you everything that's happening. You can change that from number of tasks to time estimate to sprint points. Hey, Agile peeps, to points as a custom field. He was really struggling with that. And since he figured out that he can set this workload view, this box view of what's all happening in ClickUp to number of tasks, lives have been saved, telling you. And we made it. ClickUp must know number 15. I saved the best for last. A lot of us do calendar blocking and all the things, and we are using the ClickUp calendar to do so, arrange and plan our weeks and all of that. The problem is it doesn't show closed tasks. Everywhere else you can do the swipe and turn on closed tasks, not in calendar view. You still can see them. Really simple. As you already can see right here, it's all colored by status. The only thing you need to do is set up a filter right up here where that status, all of them are turned on. That simple. Literally deselect all, let's select all, and you will see even your closed tasks. Now you get to celebrate all the things you've gotten done this week. I know, I know all of this was really fast. This was really just to cover must knows, things you might not know you don't know. With that, I have a playlist right here for you. It's my getting started with ClickUp playlist where I am going deeper into a lot of the things that you should know when getting started with ClickUp and that many of my community members simply didn't know. And if you have one more must know when getting started with ClickUp, pop them in the comment section. I'll see you there. And don't forget to subscribe.